Christian, I missed you. I feel like I haven't seen you in decades. What is Mark doing here? I like him in a lost boy, huge cock sort of way. Where are you boys coming from? Oh, we just parked. We're going over to Jake's right now. Don't lie to me, boy. You've been in that car a long time. Look, it was really loud in the club. We just came out to talk. Yeah? Well, my experience with this parking garage tells me something altogether different. There's two things I find you faggots doing in your cars in this garage. And it's either drugs or sex, but either way, it involves a ride downtown. Officer, um, we're just meeting some friends here, including a member of the mayor's staff. I know what this looks like, but it was innocent. You're, you're mistaken. You think we're frightened by the mayor? Her term in office is almost over. Why do you think we go around taking down license plates in this garage? She's way too soft on homosexuals. And when a new mayor isn't, we'll know who we're looking for. We'll be leaving now. Yeah, come on, Mark. Yeah, get going. Mark, I'm gonna go look for Christian. You find Alex and we'll meet back here in 10. <laughs> okay. <All right>. <laughs> Andrew, <laughs> hey, have you seen Christian anywhere? Not in an hour or so, mate. He was on the stage dancing with that bodybuilder. Mm. Did you check the car park? <laughs> we just came from there. Um, uh, thanks. Tuesday morning, 8 a.m. Don't be late. Tuesday morning, I'll be there. Says me at the entrance in five minutes. You mean ten, right? Yeah. Good, because I like this song. Hey. Hey. Um, ten minutes at the entrance. Come on, Mom. It's not a school night. Ten minutes. You have to go. Come on. Whatever you say, lover. No, no, you have a stunt double. <laughs> I'm digging. I'm into so it. You like it. He's so masculine. Um, Christian, I don't want to fall asleep. We'll have some caffeine. We're in no hurry, right? I guess. So, Mark, you and Eric disappeared for a while tonight, out for a stroll. <laughs> no, no, we just wanted to talk, and it was really loud in there. Mm -hmm. Well, Eric is quite a conversationalist. He has kept the attention of many young men over the years. <laughs> Leave the poor boy alone, it's just harmless fun. <sighs> harmless fun till somebody loses an eye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Mark, I hope you know that Eric's on temporary assignment right now. I'm sorry, Christian, what do you mean? I let him out every once in a while. And he comes back so frisky and wild. Okay, coffee, please. It's gonna be a long night. I say we make this into an all-nighter. Okay. I'll be right back. It tastes like formaldehyde. You know. What did you negotiate back there? I'm gonna be worried about Dad. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Eric, the body of Christ. Amen. Wow. You guys are going straight to hell. <laughs> How did I raise you better than that? <laughs> uh. 
Eric, what time is it? Eric? Eric, are you away? Eric? Eric, this isn't funny. Eric? Eric, wake up! Eric! 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 Eric, wake up! Yeah, yeah I, I have an emergency. My, my, my husband, he's, he's unconscious. He's, he's not responding. I don't know! Just calm down! Christian, I don't want to go home. Let's just keep driving. Whatever you say, baby. <laughs> What would you do if I told you that I had a terminal illness? Speaking hypothetically, right? You're not sick, right? Yeah, fuck yeah. Totally hypothetical. What would you do? Well, I guess I'd stop whatever I was doing and come take care of you. Aww. And you, Eric? What would you do if I became terminally ill? Well, I guess I'd stop doing whatever I was doing and I'd come take care of you. So, the doctor says that they ruled out a heart attack and they ruled out a stroke. Eric's in way too good of shape for those. He's still stable, but he isn't responding. They took some blood and are doing additional tests. I'm sorry I'm late. Any news? Oh my god, he's waking up. It's rapid eye movement. He's dreaming. That's a that's a good sign, right? Don't worry. He's fine. 